All right, diving right in here. Nature Boy, what a great tune. Uh, just jumping in, it's in D minor, and it just starts with basically going up and down a D minor chord. With this little melody. Second fret of the G string, and then keeping it there, and you hit that note, second of the G, and then the open two in the middle. That's going to be working as our D minor chord. Set this finger in the third fret, and then back to the open while this finger never moves. Now, of course, you may want to do the fingering this way, which works great. But later in the song, just because of finger demands, I'm going to end up fingering it this way anyway. So just for consistency, I'll start out this way. It won't matter. Whatever works for you. But so two, the chord, and then three to the open on the, on the uh, D string. We're just going to go to an A major, two, two, and four. Heck, you can even pick up that high E, but usually I don't. Usually I'll just hit two, two, and four. We're gonna do this little melody, and it's real easy because our finger's already in position. We're on this A chord. So all we're gonna do, two and two. So our first two notes are already taken care of. It's just the bottom two notes of the A chord. So. Second on the G, and then on the D string, we'll walk up two, three, five, one on the A string. But now, because our fingers here is where we set this finger back down on the second fret, and just play the melody again. into the A chord, and then we'll once again do the same walk up, but now it gets different on the second time. Hit our D minor chord just like before, to open and open, and we're going to jump way up here and grab with these fingers 5 and 4 on the A string. And we do that kind of famous, the melody just walks down here. And we're going to go to the next chord, which is just two, three, and open A. And then jump up and grab the melody, which is three and two. So we'll put those together. Last part of the melody is this phrase. Which is five on the D and three on the G string. Those two notes there. First fret of the A, our D minor chord, two open and open, open D, and then our last chord, which is second fret of the D and open G. What I usually do is I hit I hit those two notes once and then then I hit the note by itself. All right, so let's look at all that together here. Here's what we've got so far, because we're already 80% of the way through. <clears throat> we'll flip up to that A major, we walk up, whoops. Back down, we walk up again. This chord, this here, all right, from here, second fret of the uh, G string, so from the second fret we'll go up to this chord, which is just, you're just going to walk from the second to the third, third on the G string in the middle to open. It's a cool sound. While they're ringing out, because you get this finger here, reach up, grab the fifth fret uh, on the D string with that finger. Whoops. Where was it? Yeah, and then 
and down to the second. I want to make sure I say it right. So five, two. All right, next phrase. Again, starts here in the second, but now move up to the third, and it's going to be three here and five on the D string. Third on the D, and open D. So if we combine those. Oh, and when you go open D, we'll drop back down here. Second fret of G. It's just our D minor chord that we've been doing, just the bottom two notes. Next phrase, first fret on the G, third fret on the uh, D string, second fret on the D string, and then we're going to come down here to the fourth on the G. And when I hit the four, I like to pick up that the uh, second fret on the D string underneath it. And the first time we've gone through, you're just going to take this finger, set it here, fifth fret on the C note, walk it up one more to the C sharp. And I know my finger's in the way, but I'm just doing a two finger chord here, sixth fret on the G, fifth fret on the D, and then the other two opens, just an A7 chord. And if I hit that three times, can lead right back into the main melody and then everything repeats right back to the a walk up walk down still the same this part repeats as well Part that's different that last phrase is is the melody and it's two on the G well, here it is without me doing the slides and stuff it's just two and then five three back to the two two on the D and open But I like putting some slides in there. I always uh, I like to slide into that five. Slide back into that two on the D string. Then back to our uh, first, the D minor chord we've been playing. Two open and open. And just, you know, my thing, I like to kind of walk it up. Here's another D minor chord, two, three, and five. And I like to end. I think it sounds cool. I go up and end on a harmonic, the 12th fret of the D and the A strings. Where you just barely lay your finger across it, hit it and pull your finger off. But by all means, you can just end it down here, you know. I mean, it can end right there. It can be anything you want to make it. But all right, what a great tune, what a great tune. Hope the tabs help. Hope I'm explaining that all right. And um, hey, thanks for tuning in.